Hey girl, hey girl, hey girl, hey, it is your girl Tiara once again of Reflected Glory by Tiara. Thank you for tuning in once again. Thank you to my subscribers. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Here we talk about lifestyle, beauty, fashion, business, I mean, just a whole lot. So if you enjoy my channel, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe, and um, turn on your notification bell just to make sure that you are receiving notifications every single time that I do um, post a new video. So today's video, we will be talking about first impressions. So these are things that I have bought. Um, some of the items that I did purchase, um, I have yet to open. So that'll be a first impression for real, for real. And then the other items that I've already opened will just be my take and my um, opinion about them on first impression. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, ladies. So I, you know, I have a generally um, combination to oily skin. And so for me, when I do my makeup, I, you know, really appreciate having a primer that, you know, kind of like smooths my face out and gives me a very, you know, kind of dries my face out in the, you know, in the, around the nose and the T-zone. Um, and then like on my forehead as well. Um, so I usually use the Becca, you know, ever matte priming or ever matte primer. Um, but uh, apparently they're I don't know if this is true or not but they may have stopped making it so I'm gonna have to um, so I tried to you know venture out and discover some other products that I could use as a primer and one of the products that I did you know order was the um, Fenty Beauty true matte pro filter mattifying primer okay and the reason why I bought this is because a lot of people were saying how they had oily skin and this was like the best thing for their oily skin. Um, so I was like, you know what? I haven't had the best of luck with, Re with Rihanna's Fenty Beauty line. You know, like some of the items that I do get from her, they're like, okay for me. Um, and this is no tea, no shade towards Fenty Beauty at all. I really want to be a Fenty Beauty girl, but it's just that every single time I try to, you know, venture into her products, for some reason, it's just not working for me. Um, so this was the product that I ended up getting. As you can see, it's like a white bottle. And um, y'all know in my... <laughs> previous video one of my my videos I was talking about fragrances and how I don't like the smell of baby powder and lo and behold this it smells like baby powder this my that was my turn off but I was like you know what I'm not gonna let the scent you know steer me away because you know I need this for my face I need something that's gonna keep me you know matte you know throughout the day so I decided I was gonna try it out and to be honest with you, like the, the consistency is like very watery, as you can see. And it's not like that type of consistency where I felt like if I put this on my skin that it was going to like really kind of like grab that oil and suck it in. Um, so this is like the consistency that I get like when I wear it and when it dries down i just feel like it doesn't make me feel you know like 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 the product has sucked in the oil or anything like i just feel like it just kind of dried down you know it's like almost like if you get your your skin wet if you put water on your face and it just evaporates that's the type of feeling i get with this um and as you can see like it does take a while to dry like i just like have you we probably just have to keep rubbing it in um but that is the experience that i had with the pro filter um what is this pro filter uh mattifying primer yeah so i was really kind of disappointed in the product because i just felt like you know i spent like this is not cheap you know and it's one of the newer products that came out and so as you can see it's still not dry so 
I don't know. I just felt like for my skin, like I need something that I is gonna make me feel confident. And if I don't feel confident after I put it on, you know, before I put my makeup on, then I'm not really sure how my makeup is gonna last throughout the day. Um, so that was like the first issue that I had. So I'm gonna wipe this off real quick so I can finish explaining to y'all how, how the day went with wearing the actual product. Okay, so I, I just wiped it off. Um, but yeah, so I did wear it to work and I just didn't feel like it really kind of helped me to keep my skin like from getting oily throughout the day. So I just stopped wearing it. <clears throat> and it's a shame because I still have like so much in it. And I'm the type of person, if I buy a product, I'm very, I'm not very likely to return it. So it'll probably be a donation um to a friend girl you know who you are so i'm making up a box of donations for my friends who you know that i know that they could be able to use my products you know and not have issues with it so yeah um the next product speaking of having oily skin you know some women actually like to have that dewy look i'm not one of them but i do appreciate having a glow and so i was looking for a you know, a setting powder that could compare to the Huda Beauty brand of setting powder. And what I've been hearing a lot is, you know, Laura, Mer <laughs> Laura Mercier um, setting powder. And I've never really used her setting powder, powder before. Um, and so I decided, okay, well, let me try a setting powder. Now your girl should have did her research because your girl got the wrong type of setting powder, okay? I got the brand new Laura Mercier uh, Glow. What is this? Okay, so it's called Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow, okay? And I didn't think it was gonna be like glow as in, and I don't know why, maybe I just wasn't thinking, but I didn't think it was gonna be glow as in like, you know, shimmer. I thought it was going to be glow like, you know, it's just going to give your skin like that, you know, that natural glow. And I was wrong. So this is more like, and this is not really a setting powder to me. This is more like a shimmer or like a, not a bronzer, but sort of like a bronzer uh, powder or something like that. Um, when I first tried to use the product, I used way too much on accident. I tried to go in just like I do with my Huda Beauty, um, you know, um, powder, baking powder or whatever. Honey, do not do that because this is not the same. Actually, I'm kind of not really sure why they made such a big um, container full of this because this will last you your whole life just because you can only use so much of it without looking like a crazy person. So when you use it, and I'm wearing it right now, so if you guys are thinking that I'm oily, I'm actually not. It's just I've already put it on my skin. And so what you're seeing is like a natural, it's giving you very much, um, you know, glow, um, shimmer uh, is there is there um, so I was kind of like disappointed because I didn't do my research and what I'm finding now is that like you have to do your research nowadays with all these high-end you know uh, beauty products because things are not what they seem um, but I am going to try and get the actual like um, setting powder that is just the you know regular without the shimmer without the highlights without all of that um i think it's very pretty um however if that's not what you're looking for that's not what you're looking for so yeah um so yes i am gonna try to get you know the setting powder that actually is a muted color and actually does what it's supposed to do i've heard great reviews on the laura mercier um, setting powder and I really 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 want to try it so you know um, yeah so your girl needs to you know do her research y'all so you know I've learned my lesson and so yeah I can't really say that it's a bad thing that I got the wrong type of powder but you know if, you, if it's not what you're looking for it's not what you're looking for so yeah moving on okay 
So speaking of setting powders, I um I wanted to find some products that will be comparable to the more expensive high-end products. And one of the products that I did decide to purchase was the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go. And I got this spray because this is supposed to be a two-in-one primer and setting spray. So it helps with shine control, locks in your makeup, and it's oil-free. Now this does work. Um, like right now when I'm touching my face, and I've had this on for a few hours now. When I'm touching my face, I do not feel oily. Like I don't. Um, it may, Like I said, it may look that way because I did try the, the Glow Mercier powder. So it just may give me like a dewy look right now on camera. However, um, this actually works. Like this is, I think this was only like $6 and I got this off of Amazon. And it actually does work for me. Um, and I have to use it more and just make sure that, or see how it does in the sun. But the reviews about it are amazing. Like it's got like five stars online. And just for me wearing it, I feel like it's doing its job. Like I, I don't see, I don't see the oil starting to come through or nothing like that. So what I did have to do is now this is the downside to it. Um, this, the spray, the spray nozzle on it shoots out like a stream. So like if you spray it, it's, well, okay, so now it wants to work right. Okay, so when I first got it, when I first got it, the spray was like shooting out like one line. So I had to transfer it into another bottle, but now it's actually working correctly. Like it's supposed to work on camera. <laughs> so yeah, like, so I guess there's nothing wrong with it. So, you know, if you, if you don't mind spending the $6 or whatever, this is not sponsored. None of these products are sponsored. Um, this is just my real life opinion. Um, if you don't mind, you know, spending the $6 for, you know, something that could actually compare to a more expensive product, then I think you should try the Remo Stay Matte uh, Fix and Go. So yeah. Um, all right. So the next item that I wanted to tell y'all about, I am so excited to share this item with y'all just because like, I love a perfume called, um, Love and White is by Creed, and it is a really, really good perfume. Excuse if you hear a bus, that's because of school, the kids are getting out of school. But anyways, so I love the scent of Love and White. It is by a perfume brand called uh, Creed, and um, I had like a, a, a tester of it, and that perfume is very, very expensive. Um, so when I ran out, I was trying to get another tester and um, I guess they don't, I guess they just didn't, the people who I got them from, I guess they don't sell that tester anymore. So I had to find a way to get this perfume because it smelled so good. So I went to uh, Oil Perfumery. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have heard of that place, but they sell like designer inspired, you know, perfume oils. and. It's so funny because, you know, I feel like a lot of black people have been selling, you know, <laughs> designer inspired oil perfumes for so long. And now like the big companies or these companies are coming out, you know, making these um, perfume oils. But anyways, this was the only place that I could find like, you know, like a uh, love and white type of fragrance, like even trying to find a, a, a real you know legit fragrance that you know had the similar you know scent to it I was unable to find so when I saw that oil perfumery actually had this scent I had to get it you know I had to get it so um upon you know like smelling this it smells exactly like the perfume and I almost wanted to say when I first smelled and compared the vial that I had with the actual, this oil, like I almost wanted to say it smelled better. Um, but this like smells amazing. And I got two because I was like thinking like, okay, I need to get two because 
I don't know if I really really like this perfume I know I'm gonna use this perfume up and I have been using this oil um, now the only difference between the oil versus the alcohol you know spray or oil perfume versus the alcohol perfume I just kind of feel like the oil doesn't have that potency like it's not like an aromatic type of scent like when you put the oil on your skin you can smell it on you but it's not like you're gonna smell it when you walk through a room or it's not like I don't feel like I feel like the only time people will really smell it is if they walk upon you but I don't not upon you but if they walk up on you they will smell it but like if you're like you know just in a room with other people I don't really think they would smell it like they would do a regular you know perfume so that's the only thing but I love Creed's Love and White and this you know impression of Creed's Love and White is amazing so if you guys need to see the the bottle this is what it looks like it's by Oil Perfumery and it is Love and White so yeah actually a really really good you know it's worth the money to go ahead and, and invest in your perfume oils that you can't find the fragrance for anywhere else so yeah and the cost of it was probably around like 15 20 dollars i believe no more than like 30 dollars for two vials so that was really really good all right y'all so i'm very 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 excited because i get to review a product for the first time with you guys, it is in the box. I just got it in the mail. So yeah, I'm very excited. And this is actually, I already know what it is. Sorry y'all, my camera like just completely shut off. But what I was saying is, is that when you find somebody of color that's actually selling something that works with your skin tones and all of that stuff, like it just makes you excited. It makes you, you know, want to try their products so huda's products to me have been good so far so i've kind of opened the box a little bit but um this is you know how it came with the little lips on it um and here is the actual package i'm excited because you already know like i i ordered a fragrance from her and i'm really really excited to smell and see what the situation is about. Okay, girl, okay, girl. So I got a um, free, okay. I guess it's a mascara, so I'm gonna have to show y'all that in a minute too. So I got the Very Vanilla set. So this was supposed to, so this is actually um, a, gift, a gift set, I think. Not a gift set, but it's basically, it was on sale and you get a set of two you get a small one and you get a big one and for my money I decided to get you know the set because I mean just the one by itself was just as much so why not so like I said this is the K Ali vanilla 28 mind you I have never had any of Huda Beauty's uh, perfumes before and y'all know I love perfume so yeah I'm so excited. Cute, 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 cute. Cute. I love it. All right, y'all. I wonder which one I should open first. Should I do the small one or should I do the big one? I don't know. All right. I already put perfume on today, so let me. I'm gonna spray the back of my hand. Okay. All right, so my first impression is Okay, so this is not your just regular vanilla scent. This is a vanilla with some spice to it. This is a vanilla that has like 
some something that you would imagine like some cinnamon some cardamom some something that something extra that you know is not your regular vanilla scent um it's a very warm vanilla like almost like a tea so like like a chai tea like you know how tea that chai tea has like the different spices in it that's exactly what you're gonna get when you get the vanilla 28 from from Kaylee um, from uh, Huda Beauty um, I think the bottle is very beautiful um, and I do feel like this is an everyday wear uh, perfume I'm not blown away by it I'm not even finna lie to y'all I'm not blown away however if you're ordering like a vanilla perfume are you really gonna be blown away I guess I could say yes because my favorite my absolutely favorite vanilla perfume is actually from um, let's see I have it up there it's actually from philosophy and it's called um, fresh cream that is my favorite vanilla perfume it actually smells like a bakery it smells like somebody is in there like making pastries and it smells so sweet and so creamy and so yeah so if y'all gonna get a perfume a perfume that smells like vanilla I would prefer I, I would you know suggest fresh cream from philosophy that's my all-time favorite I feel like the K.I.L.E. is more of like a spicy vanilla it's like your chai tea vanilla scent so yeah um, and it's very light too like I feel like with this I have to really put my nose to my skin to smell it it's not like I can smell it from right here like I can't so I in that regard I do kind of feel like it might be a little weak I don't feel like the sillage would be uh, very uh, I don't feel like it is gonna be like one of those that I'm gonna it's gonna last throughout the day but it does smell really good it's just got it's like a vanilla but it's got something extra to it so if I were to say how you know potent this this fragrance is I would say this is more like body splash like this is giving me more body splash perfume type body splash over perfume type of scent so yeah and I'm sorry y'all my camera cut off again I guess it's starting to get a little overheated in this thing but Thank you for watching y'all. I hope that this was kind of impactful. You know, think about what I said about the chai tea versus the K.I.L.E. Vanilla 28. Very similar, yet it's not gonna be your regular vanilla scent. It's gonna be a little vanilla with some spice to it. Um, make sure you check out Oil Perfumery. This is not sponsored by the way. Um, good fragrance oils. Um, and let me know what y'all think about the Rihanna Fenty Pro Filter Mattifying Primer. Let me know if y'all have had success with it or if you plan on using it or getting it or not. And um, as far as that goes, y'all have a blessed day. I hope you guys enjoy y'all's weekend, you know. And um, until next time, bye.